Okay, I was waiting for it to start recording before I say anything. Um, I am here at the campground. Um, I'm going camping with my kids, but my cousins are so nice, Clint and Rosemary, to take my kids swimming um, because I'm very tired. We did a lot today, and um, I just want to jump on here to let you know what's going on. So here's our little cabin we're staying. It's pretty cute. It has a fridge and a microwave. Um, but this morning I ended up going to my, uh, radiologist, um, and what happened there was, uh, my husband went with me to radi radiologist this morning and it was just to meet, uh, to meet her and she, I love the radiologist, like all my whole care team is great, but my radiologist is really great. Um, as you know, I already had radi uh, radiation on my neck and that did not shrink the tumor at all, but it, it took away all the pain. And, um, I have six lesions in my brain. Um, six of them. They're all on the right side. So they're all on the same side as my neck nodule. Um, they showed me the pictures of them today. Um, I have two big ones in my cerebellum, which is the bottom of your brain. Um... They're stacked, like, stacked going up. It's weird. Um, the two big ones are, like, stacked adjacent from each other, so up and down, I guess. Um, luckily, I only have to go for five sessions again. But what they, I asked them, some people get 33 treatments. Hmm, let me scrape. Um, some people get 33 treatments, and I don't know why I'm only getting five, and I asked her about that, and she said, because no pro protocol, and please bear with my speech, no protocol is to, instead of giving 33 treatments every day low dose, they give five treatments high dose, and with my treatments, they're giving me such high doses, they want days in between, so one day on, the next day I'll have off, the next day I'll have on, the next day I'll have off, Next day I'll on. So, uh, so on. Um, for five treatments. So th that's how much um, radiation they're zapping into me. I'm also going to lose the bottom of my hair, it looks like. Which, like I said before in my videos, who cares? <laughs> I have been completely bald before. And right now I am trying to, everyone knows, keep my life right now. Because I feel like cancer is trying to kill me, honestly. And I know... It's probably my last summer here. Um, so after radiation, they said I don't have to go to ra I don't start radiation until Monday. And today is Thursday. I said, screw it. I'm going camping. Yesterday, I told my cousins to take my older kids. And because I wasn't going to go camping because I found out the news. And then um, I thought they were going to start radiation right away this week. But turns out they're not going to start till Monday. So I said, you know what? This is my problem last summer. I'm going to spend with my kids. Go. You know, um, we went a lot of places. I keep posting on Facebook everywhere we went. Um, I'm exhausted. I did meet my um, radi radiology at 9 a.m. Right now it's 9 p.m. <laughs> and we went to a candy store. And we went to Ponderosa to eat. Because we don't have one in Milwaukee. When I saw it, I was like, oh, sad bar. I haven't really been eating. I think it's like a shock. I haven't eaten today at all. I forced myself to eat Ponderosa. And I, I was nitpicking. It's because I'm just in so much shock. <sighs> so emotional about this all. Um, so, yeah. I am so tired. I drove all the way up here. And um, I started seeing spots like I'm not driving. I, and my cousin was like, you want me to take over? I was like, no, no, I'm fine. But like reading stuff on Facebook and, and stuff is the spots are back. And I can't make out what I'm reading. And I'm irritated. They said the swelling is causing my speech delay as, as well as um, the tumor is sitting on my optical nerve. Or uh, somewhere optical something. So she was so nice. She went through my scan. She showed me all the tumors. They're pretty big. The ones on the bottom of the two are really big. And then there's like millimeter ones all over scattered. But I, well, I'm not. Okay, I lie. I have six all together. I have four little ones that are like a, a millimeters. And um, two that are really big. Uh, well, they're not really big, but they're 2.7 
centimeters and 2.4 centimeters. Something like that. Those are the two big ones um, that they're referring to. So they are going to zap them five times. And in the small one, she said she only has to zap once. So um, that's good, I guess. Um, the difference between individually zapping them and whole brain radiation. She says, I can go either route. But she talks to her colleagues and she's been doing this for 10 years. And um, whole brain radiation is is very risky. And it kills off the good parts of your brain. And I'm so young that, just so you know, I'm 38 years old. I'm not that young, but young for cancer and death. <laughs> but I, it is what it is. Um, because I'm so young, if they radiate my whole brain, I could lose speech altogether. I could lose eyesight altogether. I could, you know, like serious consequences. So it's better to um zap them individually so I, I went ahead with her recommendation and i'm not getting whole brain radiation i'm only getting radiation where it's needed where the tumors actually are right now and they're gonna watch me every month they're gonna give me brain mri and just watch and whereas they pop up because they will um they'll zap them and hopefully it works um the only thing is that it's built up scar tissue which will create my brain to swell more so I am nervous about this because the reason why the swelling is causing my speech impairment right now. So you can't really hear it because I try to talk slower and I try to talk. <laughs> I, I'm a very fast talker as you can see from my videos. It's because when you have five kids, you try to do so much at once. And people with kids know what I'm talking about. I am a very fast paced person. When I was working, I was getting my kids to daycare. I was getting my kids to school. I was going to work all day long. Same thing. I would get my, home, get my kids from daycare, get my kids from school and, and go home and make dinner, put them all to bed, you know, a mom thing. So I'm used to talking fast, as you can see from our videos. So this is me trying. I, I've really got to try to slow down and talk slower. And yeah. Um, I took a pain pills, uh, because my chest is on fire and I'm really scared that when I get my CT scan on Tuesday, today's Thursday, it's going to be bad again. I feel it. I feel it's growing in my, either my lungs or it was in my chest right here and my lung nodules down here. Um, all the pain's back. Uh, so I'm like, you know, I just. Cancer is really coming after me. It's really trying to get me. And now it's in my brain. And I don't know. I'm, if the kids walk in, I'm going to let you guys go. Just let you know. They went swimming about an hour ago. And since it's 9 o'clock, they should be on their way back. If not, I hear them outside. Um, I just want to jump in here and let you guys know. So, yeah, radiation. Um, I had today super sweet doctor she showed me all the scans and she said she what she does read scans for a living this is what she does to map out i got mapped i got the mask fitted the mask only because his brain only fits here when i have a neck it's fit all down here it felt like i was being choked um this mask it same thing i have a bite thing they put it over you and then they push in your mouth and you have to bite down and um you have to hold it in your mouth um Oh my god, I'm so scared about side effects. As you know, just for my tumor in my neck, um, I was throwing up every day from the radiation, and um, I was so tired. And um, what else happened? Oh, my throat. You guys know my throat closed off completely. I couldn't eat. She said that the, those are, side effects shouldn't happen in my brain. Like, because it was so close to my throat, is that that's why for a week, only for a week I couldn't eat. It was my, I couldn't swallow anything at all. But with this brain stuff, um, the only thing is they get more swelling in their brain. It does swell, so I might not be able to talk right. Because <laughs> the swelling is right, I uh, guess, where your speech is. That co coordinates with your speech. But then it goes away and my, and my speech should return back to normal, she says. So I don't have a choice. I, it's like either I do it or if I don't do it, then I lose my life. Because <laughs> it's just six already. 
they're trying to get me and I'm I gotta fight back I, gotta, I have to and see what's going on with my chest I don't know it's all everything is out of my hands right now so I just want to update you on what's going on I think I hear my kids outside because I don't like making these videos in front of them um my cousin we were eating and she accidentally told my 13 year old about my youtube channel and i was like why because <laughs> i don't want them seeing these like this is all my cancer journey and people who were going through it you know some i guess so we can go back and forth about cancer information and stuff what i'm going through what you're going through um and i really don't want my kids watching these because it probably scare them i don't i kind of i don't tell them what's going on exactly I told my oldest that if I talk funny at times, don't make it fun of me because I did tell them, you know, it spreads my brain, but these are like in-depth videos and um, I don't know. When you're older, you can handle it, but when you're th only 13, I don't think that he's ready. My six-year-old has no idea what's going on. It's okay if he makes fun of me for speech because he's only six, so I'll laugh with him, you know? Um but keep them ch children as much as possible. I don't know. I just try to keep my kids in a bu bubble. And my one-year-old's is super exhausted. And I was like, please take them to the pool. They just splash pad word. Um, we're at Sherwood Forest in Wisconsin, Wisconsin Dells. Um, and they have a splash pad for him to play on. And a pool. It's dark outside. If you can't see, it's the it's dark. Why are they still at the pool? They should be back by now. We should be making a little campfire. But even though I'm deathly tired, I'm going to go outside and enjoy a campfire with them. My husband's not here because he has work. So he has work 12 hours tomorrow, 12 hours uh, Saturday. Yeah, today's Thursday. Um, So tomorrow morning he leaves. It works 6 a.m. and he works till 6 p.m. and then Saturday and Sunday. So today is my 19 year old's birthday. We all called them, all of us. My, my two cousins are married, Rosemary and Clint. And then my kids, uh, my 13 year old, six year old, and my one year old's with me. And we all called them on my car phone as a happy birthday to my 19 year old. And he was excited we called. So um, Sunday when I come back, we're all going to go out to his favorite restaurant, which is Ro Texas Roadhouse. Laura, if you're watching this, it's your favorite too. Um, Texas Roadhouse, and he wants me to especially make him a cake. Uh, my famous jello cake. It's white cake mix, and you poke holes in it, pour jello in it, put whipped cream on it, and strawberries, and he loves it. That's his absolute favorite. Instead of me buying one, he prefers that. So, Sunday, that's what our plans are when we get back. We'll we get back Saturday. We actually, we only stay in two nights. So, they're back. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll talk to you later.